for joining us. We do begin with the latest on the investigation into a Tarpon Springs pain clinic. Police arrested its director on an extortion charge last week. And now we have learned he is not the only employee with a criminal past. News Channel 8's Chip Wasowski broke the story. He's back with a follow-up. Chip. Well, good evening to you both. Today we learned that Christopher Ferguson's son, Patrick, who is also an employee here at the clinic, is a registered sexual offender with a very troubling past. Deputies first arrested Patrick Ferguson, a Boy Scout leader, in 2016 after he sent nude photos of himself to a boy. The next year, deputies in Hardy County arrested him for molesting a 13-year-old boy during a camping trip. Last week, Tarpon Springs police arrested his dad, Christopher Ferguson. Chris is the reason why I'm in this situation, and he would not let me talk to the doctor. Eleanor Miranda is a patient at the clinic and tells Eight on Your Side, Christopher Ferguson told her she failed her drug test. He was treating me like I'm a junkie in there. Talk about, well, he ain't gonna get no more pills. Surveillance cameras from a nearby business showed police and DEA agents back at the clinic this afternoon. Investigators tell us Ferguson told at least two other patients that they failed their drug tests and he would wipe the slate clean in exchange for sexual favors. Ferguson is also a convicted felon who served three years in Florida State Prison on drug trafficking charges. On Thursday, I reached out to both doctors at the clinic. Dr. Mark Fensel returned my message and said he couldn't comment on anything going on at Phoenix, but fears if this clinic and others like it are shut down, people may turn to the streets to cure their ailments. I'm 36 years old. I've never, ever in my life been treated like this. Miranda tells me after her experience at Phoenix, she may seek legal action. From the get-go, from before I left the door, I said, listen, I'm going to get an attorney because I know this is not right what you did to me. I said, what you did to me in there was not right. He's like, well, go ahead. As for Patrick, he remains on probation. He has not been arrested or charged in connection with the extortion case. And I did approach the DEA agents who were here today. They declined to tell me exactly what they were looking for, nor would they say what, if anything, they found. Reporting live in Tarpon Springs, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.